Hey guys, it's Gina and I'm bringing you this pink sunset tutorial. I call it that because the eye is just, let me just like put my lighting even closer to my eye. But um, you've got like this goldish pink gradient colors because you have three different pinks that are very close together um, as in color and they're like in the same basic pink color family. Okay, so this is the pink look. This is perfect for spring. Um, the darker lip is a little optional. I'm just in love with this color right now, so I just decided to wear it. Um, I did wear this look for um, another video, but you couldn't see it. And I wanted to do a tutorial on it. So, here we go. Oh, I already have Garnier on moisturizer. That is Hello Flawless Foundation. Um, my Sheer Cover Cover Up. And my Palladio Rice Powder. I also have Professional on. And for my eyes primer, it is Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I'm putting that on both my eyes. Really locks, locks it in there. And um, it's just one of my favorite ones right now. And so there it goes. And now I'm using my Makeup Forever. This is my base I use all the time. So just use like a natural color, but make sure it has shimmer in it. So this will be your base. And we go for our lightest color. This is Makeup Forever. We're going to go from our crease to our lid. Um, and this is in 909.16. This is their star powder. This is a rose gold. So if you have rose gold, you can go ahead and use that. But make sure that's the key, rose gold. And now onto our crease. This is duochrome red orange from Coastal Scents. This is a dollar for a sample bag. And you just want to really work it in there so you can see um, the color that is slowly getting darker from the lid. That way it gives the like sunset effect. This is also has a little bit of um, orange in it, so it has a little bit of um, gold. So we're blending out with our fingers up and out. And there we go. And now for the outer crease, we're going to work it in there. This is the color Ruby from Coastal Scents. Um, and we're really going to work it in the edge. Do not even bring it to the middle. We're about right there. Yep. So we're working it in. And then we're going to blend out with our fingers again. You can use a blending brush if you want. And then in the middle, right about the middle of our eye, we're going to use um, a gold. This is also Makeup Forever. This is in the number 922. And we're going to pat it really nicely in the middle, right there. And then we're going to pat it in a little bit more with our fingers. And now I have this nifty little thing. This is from Maybelline. It's um, supposed to be a brow definer, but I like to use it for... Um, right here as a highlight and then this is in the color um, iridescent bell and we're gonna go ahead and blend it out also and now I'm gonna use the elf um, eyeliner pen I love this eyeliner and I'm slowly working it out I mean it's really hard to do this on camera you guys so I did only do one eye so lightly kind of do your line uh, make sure it goes up and not just straight out because then it kind of almost looks like you have a frowny effect. And there it is. Once you work it on, do it pretty thick. And then um, for the waterline, this is um, Sephora's eyeliner in Flashy Liner. This is called Flashy Copper. These eyeliners are my favorite. And we're just working it down there. So any kind of copper or gold you can put right there. And now we're putting on mascara. As you can see, it's already on. And this is Ultra Flesh, the gold standard. And I'm putting on my eyebrows with a brow brush and from MAC Expresso. This is totally optional, obviously. And that's the way the eyes should look. Now onto the cheeks. I'm using my bronzer. This is an NYC bronzer. And I'm using a hard candy for the apples of my cheeks. This is called Living Doll. Now this is a little bit lighter, so I'm working it really well on the cheeks. So this is like a... A very shimmery blush but it's not too dark and it matches the other pink so it's really good and then we're blending it out and now onto the lips this is Tarte this is Enchanted I wouldn't recommend this usually it was just my favorite color right now um, I would use like a nudish color and there we go so I hope you enjoyed it I hope it was simple enough and I'll see you later guys